How to gamers, how's it going? Jester back in again with another dog shit video. The guy who told people how to yell at their teachers the best on Zoom is making another serious fucking video. And today I wanted to talk about something I care about a hell of a lot. And I know I've talked about before that I try to talk about things fairly unique, so that way you don't have to hear stuff constantly. And if Jake Paul fucking looked the wrong direction, 99% of commentary channels are gonna fucking say something about it. I don't give a shit, and I don't want to give a shit for the sake of views, that's just fucking annoying. But regardless, something I feel like people don't realize enough is that your negativity can almost entirely fuel something to happen at all. And I want to give specific examples on that today, I made sure to do a bit of research for this video and make sure I'm not just speaking out of my ass, but there are quite a few things that I don't think would be even a tenth as large as they are if it wasn't for millions and millions of people constantly shitting on it and finding a card tower to knock over just because it's an easy target that will get people riled up. And the obvious one is like Jake Paul and Logan Paul, which so many commentary people will talk about them and then they'll be like, oh, I don't want to talk about them ever again, and it's just fueling their career, and then they'll make 20 more fucking videos. You can do something which is not hit the fucking, not hit the render button. You can scrap videos. Even if you said all the time, you gotta take the hit sometimes and realize, hey, once you have that realization, don't just leave that realization in there, then upload the video. That's fucking insane. The one thing I really wanted to talk about today was feminism. And now I think modern day feminism would almost entirely not exist as it was if it wasn't for an equally radical group of people that are constantly hating and shitting on it. And that one's far larger. And I'm gonna try to provide evidence for this, because I've had people argue with me every time I've ever brought this up. I remember almost like making a video about this, but I checked and I couldn't find that I ever made a video about this. So I'm like 99% sure I recorded something before and kept trying to record it, but I got way too pissed off and never ended up uploading it because I would like get on a high horse and I'd be upset and it was just a shitty video. So I've been trying to remain remotely calm so that way I don't come off as too much of a fuckhead. But something like modern day feminism, you can, I'm gonna do it right now. What I'm gonna do for the example is I'm gonna open up hacker mode in Firefox that way it won't save any of my searches and I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm gonna search feminism I'm just randomly I'm just gonna tab over the first 10 ones and we're just gonna take a fucking peek this is pro feminism massively downvoted 50,000 views this is a comedian speaking she's just joking around I think even if she's joking around about something you don't like if you get upset you're being a fucking asshole okay this is a neutral stance this video is entirely neutral it's trying to show both sides of the argument and you'll see that that's good I think in a platform where both people are allowed the ability to speak. You shouldn't downvote the people trying to provide a platform for both sides. This is something pro-feminism, massively downvoted, 1.2 million views. Pro-feminism, massively downvoted, 150k views. Pro-feminism, pretty hardly downvoted, 250k views. Another pro-feminism thing, massively downvoted, 150k views. Pro-feminism, massively downvoted. Controversial, kind of pro-feminism, kind of not. Pretty fucking downvoted. And then this is anti-feminism. It's controversial, but still doing all right. You see that these things, trying to search out feminism, there's this really big emphasis on just that so many people are fucking negative about it. And you gotta realize that 99% of those fucking views are gonna come from people going to shit talk it. What the fuck are you doing? The only thing you're accomplishing is fueling what you hate. What the fuck do you have to gain? Sometimes you need to like look at what's going on and try to realize, oh, I'm the fucking problem. I think if you go around doing stuff, and I'll, I'll show you the big example. There's a whole bunch of keywords you can look up, but I'm just going to look up feminist. Look at the first thing that pops up. Cringe. 5.6 million views. Top 10 feminist moments that define 2018. Massively downvoted. And just look up the other stuff that's trying to get from feminists. And I'm I'm in incognito. It shouldn't bias. It should be like what everyone gets by default. Feminists getting owned by logic. Feminist cringe compilation 2019. Feminist cringe 2019. Feminist. Feminist cringe comp. Feminist versus logic. Feminist frequency. Feminist cringe compilation. Feminist owned compilation. Feminist destroyed. Feminist gets owned with facts. Feminist cringe compilation 2018. And feminist this song. So you'll notice that anytime anyone wants to see anything about it, there's this overwhelming amount of negativity surrounding it. And you have to realize that in situations like this, that the negativity is so massive that you are in turn giving those people a platform to speak. I don't think modern day feminism would exist to nearly ex the extent that it fucking would if it wasn't for people going and shit talking it. So that's when you need to kind of swallow the bullet and be like, okay, I don't give a shit. Why? You're creating problems for yourself. I guess that the majority of this is done by witch hunting reddit type shit but that's not just a fucking excuse to people do this stuff and it's it's also like there's perfectly rational people that still do this i don't get it people i look up to so much pull this kind of shit like critical i love critical to death but he still does shit like has made quite a few videos it's got six he's made six videos 
This is someone who's self-aware. I like Drew Gooden, and his videos aren't like critical or their daily uploads. And he's self-aware that what he's doing is entirely like fueling Jake Paul and just only growing his audience and it's not solving any solution at all. And he talks about it in his videos. And I like him a lot as a person, but fucking four videos, man, four videos. I, I refuse to believe that you're, it's such a bottom barrel level of ideas that you have to dig for this kind of shit. I'm getting on a high horse again and getting pissed. I scrap this video every time, but I need to upload something. <laughs> this is going up anyway. Fuck. All right, gamers, hopefully I didn't sound like too much of a fucking asshole. I'm going to probably edit this and see how it goes. And if it ends up moderately tolerable, I'm going to keep it. Have a good one, gamers. I've got two videos that are like going to be higher effort than usual. Kind of like the sausage one. I've got, I'm not going to go into them, but they'll happen probably within the week. So hopefully they'll be fun. Have a good one, gamers.